so in this video we are going to create a healthcare smart contract uh, in which we are going to define a struct record which includes record id patient name diagnosis the treatment and finally like the timestamp and we will be having uh, an owner of the smart contract and then we will create some modifiers where only owner can perform some action or only authorized provider or only authorized patients can write data in the smart contract okay and it will have uh, multiple functions including get owner uh, add record and like get patient record where we will provide the patient id and we will get all the records so again we can use this smart contract in the decentralized application we we're going to create uh, later so yeah let's start so let's create no okay so let's create a new file and call it healthcare records dot sol um let's put it here can we okay yeah so we are here first of all the first thing is pdx dash license dash identifier mit then we will start with pragma solidity so i'm gonna create a video on solidity like how it works and you know what are the important things or what are the important functions maybe i will create a video in the future uh, but for now i i'm gonna assume that you know everything health care records it's gonna have the same name so first of the first thing we are going to define which is in object oriented programming our first instance variable is address owner and like solidity is again works on the principle of object oriented programming and then we are going to define struct which is going to be a record and this record will be unique for uh, every patient so we can have unsigned int 256 we can put record id okay then we can put string patient name we can define the diagnosis like what is the problem with the patient and then we can define a treatment like what type of treatment was given to this patient for what timestamp so we're going to define a timestamp so let's say the patient had some blood pressure problem maybe today and what was the treatment given like what, what type of treatment doctor has given let's say maybe a medical maybe some medicines or maybe the doctor has performed some tests so you can add this information and again this is a very basic application you can add more things like test performed for example you can put something like this bool test performed maybe string type of test something like this but i'm not i'm not gonna do this maybe in the future i will make a more comprehensive video on this healthcare application but just for now i'm i'm giving you this uh, like very basic introduction then we can create a mapping of unsigned integer 256 to record array not this to record array so this truck will be having an array and it will be patient records okay so basically this um, this mapping is going to store the patient records and it is going to store it in the form of array so basically we are going to store first record in this then second record then third record and then fourth and so on and it will be unique for each patient and then we are going to so how do we know that uh, this patient is authorized to write the data in the smart contract so we are going to define another mapping which takes an address and map it to true or false so if it's true then it means that the person is authorized provider and if not then the person is uh, not an authorized provider so at this point we're gonna create our constructor so as soon as we deploy our smart contract this code will run so we are going to say honor is equals to message dot sender 
so whoever um, uh, deploys this contract he will be the owner of the contract and then we will create a function get owner which is going to return owner and the function will have type public it will be a view function public view returns and what it's gonna return it's gonna return address of the owner okay so this is the function and then we are gonna create some uh, you know modifiers modifiers what are modifiers i'm gonna explain so first of all only owner so basically if we apply this modifier to a function it means that only owner can call the function okay so require message dot sender is equals to is equals to owner if not the error should be only owner can perform this function and we are going to use this modifier to control who can call the function okay so so that is the modifier only owner and uh we also only authorized provider so we also want to create only authorized authorized provider okay so why we want to do this because uh we want to make sure that only those patients who are registered in the smart contract can call uh the add maybe details or uh, add record function okay so our it it's gonna require authorized provider for mass so who are who is going to call this function he should be in the list of authorized providers okay and if not then we simply say not an authorized provider or uh, maybe patient so basically i'm assuming that provider contains like doctor and patient so I've just written it like provider maybe you can write patient okay that does not make any difference to be honest so so we have this function get honor so our first function is we need to create authorize provider function okay so basically what uh, so if you um, so if you want to make some address you know in the authorize or put some address in the authorized list you need to call this function uh, so you are going to pass an address uh, provider like uh, whom you want to give the authorization the function is public and only owner so if you want to add a patient using this function only owner can call this function so this only owner is basically a modifier so some if someone calls this function this function is going to check okay if the message dot sender is equals to owner so if owner is calling this function like the one who has deployed this contract it means that this function will run otherwise there is the function is not going to run okay uh, and in this function what we are going to do is we are going to update the list of authorized provider and what we are going to do is we are going to pass provider and make it true okay it means that it means that when we call this function when the owner calls this function whatever address we put we are going to make it in the list of authorized provider okay so yeah this function ends here and now we need two more functions so we have function add record where we are going to pass patient id okay we are going to pass string memory patient name similarly string memory m e m o r y memory we are going to pass what is the diagnosis like what what was the problem then we are going to pass a uh, treatment so we are passing all these things okay the record id patient name diagnosis and treatment so if we want to add a record since the struct has these things like record id patient name diagnosis and treatment when we call this from the front end or from here we are going to pass the patient id patient name diagnosis and treatment okay 
So we're going to pass this and we will stop here. And we can say this function is public and it must only be called by authorized provider. So if you remember, we, we made this here. So this function should only be called by authorized provider. It means that only those patients who are registered in the smart contract can call this function. If not, this function will return an error. And what is the error? Not an authorized provider. So when you call this function, it will first check if this condition meets. If this condition meets, then OK. If not, if you are not in the list of patient or doctor, you will not be authorized to call this function. OK, so the first thing in this function is we are going to create a record ID. So we are going to create unsigned in 256 record ID is equals to patient records okay and then we're gonna pass patient id and then we are going to check the length and we will just simply make uh, uh, you, we will simply do this like once okay so let's forget this war warning now and then we uh, so so what we are doing here is so this is basically an array with the patient ID. So patient one can add as many records at, uh, as he can. But if there is a new patient, then the ID will be increased by one. OK, so and how we are going to add records, patient records. So the patient who has called this function, we are going to put the patient ID and we are going to use a push function to push a record. OK, so what is patient records? The patient records is basically a mapping, an array, which takes you know the record ID and it puts the record. So basically, it's an array of record. So we are going to put records, record ID, patient name, diagnosis, and treatment okay and finally we are going to add block dot timestamp so like the current timestamp for the block and our function is complete so basically this function add record it's gonna see if there is an authorized patient who can write and then it is simply going to push this record this whole struct in the patient records against the patient id okay this is one thing and so now this was the function used uh, which can be used to add you know a record we need a function to actually get the record okay so get patient records and in order to get a patient record we need to give a patient id okay so we need to give a patient id and it should be public. The function is view because we are only getting information. And who can call this function? Only someone who is authorized. OK, so only authorized provider. So basically here. So only authorized provider can call this function. And this function returns record array and it should be a memory okay so now we have created this function so what we are going to do is we are going to simply return the patient records for a certain patient id okay so our function is complete okay our function is complete here our contract is complete here so our contract compiles perfect so now using injected web3 provider so this injected provider means that we are going to connect to the metamask and then we are going to upload the smart contract from here in order to so we are not taking anything in the constructor you see the constructor is empty so we are not going to put anything here so we're going to click on deploy and it's going to ask confirm so we are going to confirm and we will wait for the transaction to be completed. OK. 
Oh, it's taking a lot of time. Let's wait. It's still pending. Yeah, okay. So the transaction has been approved. And our contract address is this. So we are going to copy and we are going to just paste it here. Okay, just for our, for our reference. And here you can find the contract ABI. Okay. Okay, so to test this contract. Okay, so we are here. So to get the owner, who is the owner of this smart contract? So if we see, we are connected with this account here, C954E. Okay, so you can see C954E here. Um, now to get the patient record, let's try. And it is giving us an error that we are not an authorized provider. So we are going to put this address, this owner address in the authorized provider. Okay, so we are going to put it here. Let's try to uh, put it in the authorized provider. Let's do this. And let's wait for the transaction. The network is super slow right now. Uh, okay, so the transaction is completed. Okay, it means that now our this address is authorized. Okay, this is authorized. So, so if you see, we have this modifier here. So when I called this function before, our address was not in the list of authorized provider. So what happened? It checked this authorized provider, and it was not an authorized provider. So this returned an error okay you see not an authorized provider so this error is similar to this error so when we so when we called this function it called this function the modifier and then it returned the error so technically now our authorized provider has this address our contract owner address so if we call this function it should not return any error yeah okay so it returned a tuple an empty tuple okay and you see it returned something uh, empty so let's try adding a record maybe you know let's see let's put patient id as maybe you know um, let's say zero um, the patient name is let's say alice the diagnosis is let's say hypertension and finally what is the treatment let's say doctor gave medicine okay so let's try to transact so let's wait for the transaction to be completed i hope it completes yeah so it's completed let's try getting this record again i'm not sure yeah okay so we put the patient id as zero so if we put zero here you see we can get uh, like the record id is one we have alice here we have hypertension we have medicine and the this is the block timestamp you can take this you know unsigned integer and convert it to date okay so that's how our healthcare smart contract works so you can add more you know fields maybe you can add multiple uh, modifiers maybe one modifier for the doctor one modifier for the patient maybe you can create multiple patients you can create an update record function where doctor can update the record and you can put uh, these modifiers like doctor here like there are some functions only patient can call there are only functions that doctors can call or maybe there are functions that doctor and patients can call but no other person can call okay so you can create the modifier of your own choice and you can create the functions of your own choice so now we are so that was about our uh, smart contract on healthcare application and now we are going to use this smart contract in our um, react application which we are going to code later